Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope I'm on the right page. Let's see if some people start popping in. I just realized that I'm like, am I on my personal page? I hope I'm not. <laughs> oh my gosh, my hair is tickling my face. How is everybody tonight? Hang on, let me get this hair out of my face. Yeah, this is a great way to start your life, Kelly. <laughs> Look like a lunatic. I have not been drinking. <laughs> I got a little bit of light coming in here, so I'm gonna try to stay over here a little bit. How about that? <laughs> Hi, you guys. Oh my gosh, let me get myself going here on my, um, I was gonna say my Kindle. This is not my Kindle. There we are. Okay, good deal. So then I can see your comments a little better when I flip this around. Ah, yay, thanks, Jody. Jody says, you are on the right page. Yeah. Hi, Cindy, hi, Jan. We've got Sarah and Margaret. Welcome, everybody. I hope you have had a smashing weekend. Um, we've had a beautiful, hot weekend here in Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, and it's been so busy. Um, I went up to my mom's house Thursday and um, I stayed over. Oh, I know. We had to close on some property that we bought. So we did that Thursday morning in Marshfield, which is about an hour, hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes away. And then I went and stayed with my mom because she only lives 20 miles from there. So that was fun. And um, Rachel, is it your birthday today? I think I saw it was your birthday today. Anyways, happy birthday. Um and so we did that, and then I went and stayed with my mom. That was really nice. And you guys, I have to, I'll have to get a picture of the birthday present that she gave me. And my birthday isn't until July, but she bought this for me, and she didn't want me to have to wait for it because it's a planter. So she bought me this, it's this chubby little cement elephant that's just hysterical. And um, it's about, maybe about this this tall and about this big around and she planted flowers in it and then I forgot to bring it home. Urgh. But anyways, <laughs> it's mine and I will get it. So yeah, I went to my mom's house. Then on Friday I had to go, um, we had to go to Townsend. That's where my dad is from. And um, his Aunt Mary died over the winter and they were having a service for her on Friday. And oh my gosh, it was so nice. And it was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day for a drive. Yeah, no Southern comfort, <laughs> not today. Um, it was a beautiful day for a drive and the service was just so very wonderful. It was just wonderful. And then it was great to see all the relatives because we don't see that side of the family so much. You know, my dad died um, back in 2012 and um, I see my, my cousin and her husband more than anybody else, but it was really nice to see the whole family. And then we went to this place called, for those of you that are local, you might know um, Wabi Lodge. Oh my gosh, it was beautiful there. It's on a lake, beautiful lodge, and we had lunch there um, for the funeral, after the funeral. And the food was delicious. So if you ever get up in the Lakewood, Townsend area, check out the Wabi Lodge because it was beautiful and the food was delicious and the Southern Comfort Old Fashions were pretty darn good too. I only had one. <laughs> Hi, Debbie, welcome. And Marie, it's nice to see you. So it was a really busy weekend um, and then we drove. So like we made a loop around the state. So then we had to come down south from there and drop off my sister's um, youngest with his dad. And then we had to run through the middle of the state to pick up her daughter. And then we went home and then we went out for fish. And on all of those evenings, we went looking for deer because that's what we do up north. We drive around the country block, which is, I don't know how many miles. I'll have to like gauge it next time. It's a long ways. And we look for deer and I wanted to see some fawns, right? Because the fawns are dropping now. They're, they're being born. Didn't see a single fawn. So disappointed. And you guys want to know how my pool is? It's looking pretty darn good. Um... It is um, still cloudy, but we are working on it. <laughs> Jody said she needs a Southern Comfort Old Fashioned Sweet with Olives. Yes, you do. Um, 
but we were swimming in it this weekend. So I asked the guy at the pool store who I had test the water. I said, I want to know if this water is safe to swim in because sometimes there's enough bacteria in it that it can cause problems and we don't want that. And he said, yeah, you should be okay. And I said, I've got a one-year-old. And he goes, no, not for the one-year-old. So we made sure that Val did not go, you know, get splashed or drink any water or anything like that. So that was okay. She did get to float around with me for a little while. Um, Molly got a blow-up unicorn from her other grandma. And oh my gosh, can I just say, I love it. It's so huge. You can like lay on it, put your head on the tail and kick your feet up. And so I floated around with um, little Val on there. And I'll have to share a picture of her because you guys, I like beat her up so bad the last couple times I had her. It was just like granny fail one after another. She's got a great big bruise on her cheek from where she tried to reach for something and missed the nightstand in my bedroom and her face smashed onto the corner of it. Great. And then we had the tent, the um, golf ball incident where Steve and I were bouncing a ball back and forth and he would catch it and give it to Val and then Val would bounce it and I would catch it and bounce it back and he would catch it and give it to Val, okay? Well, I bounced it kind of hard and it came back and he didn't catch it and it smucked her right between the eyes. <laughs> I know, it's so mean. And it gave her a bruise. Like, I'm like, why didn't you catch that? That he's blaming me. Like, oh my gosh, so there's granny fail number two. And then um, I had her on Wednesday afternoon and we were playing peekaboo in the back door, right? So you guys, a lot of you probably know where I'm going with this. But um, I was standing down, there's steps to go up into the back of our house. So I was standing down on the cement. So we were like face level, which was kind of fun. And she would push the door open and she would kind of go like this and then I go peek. And then she'd jump back in and laugh, right? So on the third time of doing that, she pushed the door open. I went peek. She bounced back and then put her hand in the door. Yep. These two fingers smush right on the end. The blood curdling scream. <laughs> and when Jared got here to pick her up, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're here and she's still alive. <laughs> it was terrible. Granny fail again. Yeah. So... Um, Haley and Jared took Val to Florida today <laughs> to get her away from me. No, I'm just kidding. But they went on vacation, so um, that's fun, and I can't wait to see their pictures. I think they're going to have a blast. So, uh, Kelly, is there mystery stamp number one? Okay, so mystery stamping is only for our team. So um, if you want, Melanie, that's a question for our team Facebook page. But, yeah, there is a number one, and you just need to scroll through and find it. It's there. It came on tonight at 4.30, I think. So, yeah, we do a mystery stamping thing before every team meeting um, with my team. And it's so much fun. I give them parameters in four different clues. And they get all their stuff together and then make a card based on the measurements and the dimensions that I give them and the products. And, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun that we have as a team. So, Look for it on our team page. And if you can't find it, ask the question there and somebody will be able to help you out with that. Yay. Hi, Paula. Hi, Becky. So let me think. Um, I should show you my new shelves. So I got back from uh, my mom's house Saturday morning and my mirror is up in my bathroom. It looks really pretty. Do you guys want to see it? And then I got, and then Fred also put the shelves up in my office so they're up here but I don't like them yeah um and I'll show you I'll show you let's take a tour shall we okay hang tight I'm gonna unplug my phone I'm gonna turn you around okay so I'll show you what's going on here here's my shelves right over here and here's what I don't like about them this one is too tall but he wanted to keep it out of the way of my um, my video stand, right? So I think that needs to come down a little bit. This shelf is useless because it's too close to the ceiling. So I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with that. But I was kind of thinking they'd be mounted on the wall. So I didn't want to bother friend on the friend on the weekend. So we'll talk to him on Monday and we're going to get these redone because, yeah, I don't like them. 
I know I was kind of sad too, right? Like I don't, they're useless. So, I mean, not completely, obviously I'm putting stuff up there, but that is not helpful. And I want them on the wall. I don't want these poles on my desk. And do you see what happened here? Instead of my videotaping platform being right here where it should be, it's way over there. So that's not helpful either. Let's go look at the bathroom. Yay! Okay. If you haven't seen a tour of this before, here it is. And here's my new mirror, you guys. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Let me come way over here. Oh, there we go. There's my new mirror. Yeah. So I'm very happy with that. Oh, and there's my swimsuit. Oh, I got all my junk laying in here. That's not cool. <laughs> so I got my new mirror. I got my shelves put in. He fixed the ceiling fan in my bedroom because it was wobbly. And what else happened? The kids came over swimming. We had a great time. We went down to Stephanie's house today because her stepson, Owen, and Stephanie just got engaged. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys this. Her and her boyfriend went on a trip down to um, Branson and then Memphis, and then Nashville, and she got engaged in Nashville. Yay! And we love him. His name is Lee. So Stephanie's future stepson's birthday was today, so we went down and um, celebrated his birthday and ate way too much. Like, it totally blew my diet. I'm so disgusted with myself. And then I had to sleep. <laughs> so I'm all perky and ready to go tonight for sure. So, yeah. Anywho, um, John update. I have nothing to update on John. Steve has not really had much to say, and nothing has been going on next door. It's, like, pretty boring. Yeah. So um, I'm going to have to keep a closer eye on things, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I am going to um, do giveaways. So make sure that if you are on here that you're leaving a comment because that will get you um, entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And thank you guys so much. Elaine, Elaine knows Stephanie. She just said, oh, good for Stephanie. Yeah, this guy is so nice. We love him. So it's perfect. I don't know. A lot of you probably don't know this, but Stephanie's um, first husband, she has two boys that are... I want to say 16 and 14. And um, her first husband was killed in a work accident. So it was pretty tragic. And yeah, so we're just really happy that she's found somebody. And somebody super great. Because like I said, Steve loves him. All the brothers and sisters love him. Um, Stephanie's mom loves him. Everybody loves him. So it's, it's just kind of, it's just what we wanted for her. So yeah. Okay, back to prizes. I have some elegant faceted gems. Now, when you leave a comment, it doesn't matter what you say, but when you leave a comment, you get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And for leaving a comment last Sunday on my Facebook Live, I have Jean Barclow of Hagerstown, Maryland. You're going to get a pack of these faceted gems, and these are so, so pretty. I actually use them tonight on the um, mystery hostess um, challenge that I gave to my team. So, yay, you're going to love these. They're so, so pretty. Okay, so that's for Jean for commenting. Next up, we have Sherry. You can click on the share button right now and share this video. And I so appreciate when you do that, that I enter you into another drawing to win fabulous prizes. Oh, I see Noreen is on here from Hagerstown, Maryland. Make sure you tell Jean she won. <laughs> um, what I have here is a roll of our denim ribbon. This is really fun. It's great for all different kinds of cards. And then I'm going to also give away the Dandy Garden Memories and more. So I wanted to add the ribbon to this because this is open. And I don't think I used it. I think I opened it by mistake and I already had a pack that was open. So I just want you to know that. That's why I'm giving you two things. And um, these are beautiful cards and envelopes that are in our mini catalog and I'm pretty sure they're retiring. So 
you want to get your hands on some of these. Let's see if I can take one out without destroying all the packaging. All right, probably not. But anyways, you have cards with this fun background on it and then envelopes that also are printed that are really cute. And for sharing last week is Kathy Card Tynan, T-Y-N-O-N of Jacksonville, North Carolina. This is yours, but you need to send me your address because I do not have it. And don't worry, um, Jean, I have your address, so don't worry about that. But I do not have an address for Kathy Card Tynan, T-Y-N-O-N of Jacksonville, North Carolina. So if you could please email me, Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com and give me your address. I will get these off in the mail to you right away tomorrow. Last but not least, I have kind of a miscellaneous um, pack of products here. And I just know um, Emily Nielsen of Marysville, Ohio, this is going to be on its way to you. And that is for placing an order with me in the last week. That's my third drawing. So we've got a pack of the beautiful hand pen. This is a half a pack of the hand pen designer series paper, a package of the laser, the dandy laser cut paper. This is beautiful, all gold print, or, oh, I think this one is white. I don't think this one is gold. Let's take a look, see. I know I used several of these. Oh yeah, this is the white, white laser cut paper. Let me see if I can dig it out of here without destroying it. Look at all of this. Yeah, and you can make it any color you want. It's beautiful. All laser cut paper, beautiful elements. And let's see if I can get this back in here without destroying it. That's why I don't want to pull it out. And like, well, Kelly, nobody made you do it, right? <laughs> um, and also a half a pack of the opal rounds is going with this. So the paper, the laser cut, and the opal rounds is going to Emily Nielsen. And Emily, I do have your address, so don't worry about that. But I do need an address from Kathy Cardtinen, okay? And I will get these out in the mail right away tomorrow. Let me put these over, oops, over here so I do not lose track of them. Okay, what else do we have going on? I was just filling in my, um, my um, skeleton calendar. Yeah, I have to keep track of all the blog hops I'm in and all the deadlines and the card swaps I've got. I always put my swaps, I hang them up right over there as the next swap that I'm in so I don't forget and lose track of it. So I've got that going on. I will be live next Sunday, you guys. Um, the following Sunday, I will probably not be live. And I'm saying oh, probably 99% not going to be live because Dina and I are driving to Sheridan, Wyoming to spend a week with Barb. Yay! I'm so excited. So... I'm um, not going to be live on June 20th. Just want you to know that ahead of time. I don't want to forget to tell you that. Okay, are we ready to flip our camera around? I like looking at my iPad better because I can see so many more comments here, right? They go through so fast that I miss them. So if you happen to ask me a question and I didn't acknowledge you, please know that I didn't see it. So um, just ask it again. A new planner, Anna asks. Well, Anna, Anna knows the story because Kelly lost her giant planner. Yeah, I had to buy a new one. I got this one at, I think, Walmart. And um, while it's nice, it's not nearly as nice as the one I have. And I really do think that what happened to my planner, I've got this great big garbage can, right? And I have a really bad habit. This is what I do. I will set stuff on the side of it before I got my new desk together because I didn't have enough room for everything. So I would just keep piling stuff. I would set my, I would take my paper cutter and set it on here. I would set, you know, all kinds of stuff on here. And I think what happened to my other planner is it just slid right down in here and I didn't realize it and I think I threw it away. So way to go, right? Lesson learned. I don't set stuff on my garbage can anymore because now I have all this space. Yay! Yeah, so that's what that new desk is about. Okay, hang tight. I'm going to flip you guys around now and hope everything goes okay here. So this is kind of, um, Fred had my video camera thing all taken apart. 
So I've got kind of, uh, I had to rearrange everything. And I'm hoping that my lighting is going to be good enough. I don't know. It's pretty sketchy. It seems really dark down here to me. Does Well, I guess it doesn't look dark on my um, iPad. So I think we're going to be okay. Anyways, before I forget, I want to let you guys know that this is my current host code. I'm going to be changing that soon. So just know that you can find this on the right side of my blog or at the bottom of every single blog post, the current host code. This is my blog, www.estampabub.com. And I really appreciate your orders. That's what keeps me doing these free videos. So um, thank you for your orders. I really appreciate that. All your comments, all your sharing, all of those things go in to help me out. So um, thank you for that. What else was I going to tell you? Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of like pretty proud of myself because um, last Sunday was my last Facebook Live, right? And right after I got done, um, I think it was right away Monday morning, I made my projects for tonight because I knew I was going to be at my mom's house. Um, I knew that my life was going to get a little crazy being gone like that. And then I knew that I had to go to Stephanie's house for the birthday party today. So I had to get all my ducks in a row for sure. But I'm just going to start getting out my stuff here because I promise you a box to put all these fabulous note cards and envelopes in. Now, if you missed my Facebook Live last week, you're going to want to go back and watch it. Oh, these are the ones I didn't finish. I put all these um, little embellishments on these. We also made some little, whoops, three by three cards last week. Okay, and this was with the leftover from the one sheet wonder that we made these out of. So, and these you can just like put on a little gift. Yeah. Or you can like, you know what I like to do with them? I like to give them to like the bank teller or maybe the lady at the checkout at my family dollar store and just tell them to have a happy day. Um, it seems kind of hokey, but you would be shocked at how touched people are by that. And I think everybody needs a little, a little sprucing up, right? They need their day needs to be made a little bit better. Okay. So let's get all our stuff out. Um, we're going to be using this stamp set for the inside of a card because not only did I make a box to go with all of these note cards and envelopes, but then I just couldn't stop and I had to make a card too because you know how this goes, right? Okay, so here is our fun little box that is going to fit a whole bunch of these cards and envelopes in. And I'm gonna show you how to make that, but before we do that, we need to get all of our little bits and pieces ready. So hang tight, that, this, and this, and this. And I'm going to make my box, Coastal Cabana, woo! Yeah, my friend Dina says this is the color that tells us God loves us. Couldn't agree more. Okay, so we got a little bit of stamping to do before we make that box, and then I'm gonna show you a really pretty card. This is a um, piercing mat. We sell these, you just look for Pierce Mat in the online store and I just cover it with some um, printer weight paper and tape it. And this is my surface to stamp on because our bigger photopolymer stamps do not like a very hard surface. So that's why I do that. And hang on a second because I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail here because I'm starting to sweat. My husband, so my husband and I always have this big um, competition when summer comes that we are not turning on the air because neither one of us really like air conditioning, okay? I know, we're freak shows, we get it, we know it, we're weird. But we don't like air conditioning, so we always have this big competition. Who's going to turn on the air first? Who's going to break? And can I just tell you that yesterday he turned on the air. Can you believe that? It is June 6th and he turned the air on already hysterical. I just, I don't even understand. <laughs> but I can tell you that it feels pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. So, okay. I've got some pieces here. First of all, we are going to take a piece of our basic white and we are going to stamp it up 
because I need something that's gonna match this, okay? So that's where I'm going. First of all, we're gonna do that. And this is just a rerun of what we did last week with our one sheet wonder. Did I show that to you guys? Maybe that you might have missed. This is on my Facebook Live from last week. This is the cutting template for the um, one sheet wonder that we made. So you can find that on my blog, which is right here. And for those of you, oh, last week I noticed um, when I was looking back trying to see if I missed any comments, some of you said that I got really quiet when I sat down. And that's what's happening is I'm not up there anymore standing next to my phone. I'm sitting down because I'm a lazy stamper and I want to sit on my butt. But in order to hear me, if I got really quiet, just turn the volume up on your device and um, it'll be fine. Okay, so we've got Polished Pink. Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Bermuda Bay. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. All these colors. You just pick out your favorite bright colors, and that's what you... Oops, look at it. I just stuck my finger in it. That's what you have here. And they will all go together quite nicely. Let's get the baby wipes out. Kelly's already made a mess of herself. You know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, and I've got Dina's stamp set. This is Dina's million dollar stamp set called Pretty Perennials. It also has matching dies that this is amazing. I'm telling you, if you didn't get this yet, it's retiring. I hope it's still available um, because it's while supplies last. But if you didn't get this yet, you will never be disappointed that you order this. I'm telling you, I am, I'm cross my heart. I am telling you the truth here. Not that I would lie to you anyways, but this is like probably one of the prettiest floral and dye sets that I have used in a very, very long time. So just want you to know that. Okay. Um, let's see. I am going to pull this out. This goes in the flirty flamingo and then we're going to do, where's our Ooh, here's our yellow. That's our yellow flower. Then we've got this one. And I'm just putting these into the colors that we used last time. Oh, I've got Costa Cabana and Bermuda Bay. I don't need Bermuda Bay out here, you guys. Scratch that. Okay, here's the coastal. Here's our green leaves. Um, this goes in the black. And this little one goes in the polished and I need the flower for the purple. Okay, we're ready to rock. So this is just collage collage stamping. And I always start with my biggest images first. So this would be the first one. When we made the one sheet wonder, we took an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of um, basic white cardstock and we stamped up the whole thing and then cut it like this to make all of these cards, okay? So that's what a one sheet wonder is. So right now I'm just making a little um, layer to go on the front of our box that all these cards and envelopes are gonna fit into. So that's what I'm up to here. Okay, so here's our Daffodil Delight. And I like to twist and turn these so that they don't look uniform. I want them to be very random. And so I picked the second biggest image there and now I'm going to go through and just kind of start filling things in. And then we've got our polished pink. And I just stuck my finger in the ink. My fingernail, see, I felt it. So let's get that cleaned off. And here comes, I love this little purple. Well, I make it purple, but I love this. Isn't it just... I love the watercolor images, and I think this little flower is my favorite. It's so pretty. I'm going to do this and this, and we're just going to kind of keep filling everything in. Here's some green leaves. I'm just going to kind of put those in here randomly so we get a little bit of green. In. Whoops, I messed that up. See how good I am. I'm a professional. Don't try that at home. No, I'm just kidding. I like to say that because it's funny. Um, it's just paper. Always try it at home. It's okay. Nothing bad is going to happen except you may have to start over, right? 
I get sometimes people that say, oh my gosh, I'm so afraid to do that. Afraid of what? It's just paper. Go for it. Okay, next up. Hang on, I gotta get an ink pad. gonna grab a memento ink pad here because we have these little dotty things for the center of these flowers and I just really think it makes them pop doesn't it just make a big difference it's like your finishing touch there and I just do them in my bigger flowers not my little flowers close that up and what else do I need to do here I think I'm good this is gonna be good now um, do I have this measured? Three and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. Let me make sure that that is correct because because I did this last week. I told Steve when I was out in the garage, it's not right. So just hang on. <laughs> um, it is actually three and three eighths by. I was right, four and seven eighths. I told him when I was out in the garage, I'm like, I better go look at things because my goodness. I can't remember anything and I'm gonna get in here. It's been so long since I made this stuff, I'm not even gonna know how to do it. And he laughed at me and I'm like, it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny at all. Okay, what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna take our black marker and we're gonna flick some, some flex onto it. See what that did? Now this is completely up to you, but I like toning that white down a little bit and I think this adds some really cool interest to my layers and you just put your end in and flick it. You can order these single black Stampin' Write markers. This will not work with a Stampin' Blend. Don't do it with that. But the single Stampin' Write markers, you can order these individually, so that's nice. And I've never ruined one. Isn't that funny? Um, I do this a lot, and I've never like snapped that end or wrecked that end. It's, it doesn't seem to cause any harm to your marker. But I do have several of them, so if I did do that, it'd be okay. Ah, oh, Barbara says she loves this stamp set and my color choices. Thank you so much, Barbara. I know, this just makes you happy, doesn't it? It's just the happiest thing. Okay, now I'm putting this on a black layer that is an eighth of an inch bigger. So my black layer is three and a half by five. And it's just got that little edge that sticks out that makes it really pop. All right, so this is this one. Now I need a scrap of white here. Let's grab this. And then I'm going to use my Coastal Cabana and my Happy, okay? And I'm going to stamp, oops, make sure I got that inked up good. I'm gonna stamp this on here. And hang on, I'm still looking for other things. Okay, I just wanna make sure that I'm not duplicating myself. Okay, then we're gonna have a little time to chat because I'm gonna cut this out. And for those of you that hate to fussy cut, now's your time to groan, Ugh. <laughs> right? But I can tell you that this is not hard. And some tips about cutting things out with your scissors is notice how I'm moving my paper. I'm not really moving my scissors much. I'm winding my paper back and forth. And please know that if you get something that looks choppy, you can always go back and smooth it out. Don't stress over it. It's just paper. But I love this look. And so I decided to do this with the happy word. And I know you've probably seen other people do this too, but it's very popular right now to cut your words out like this. See how easy that is? It's really not hard. And like I said, if you get something that looks a little choppy, you can go back and smooth it out when you're done. If you don't, you know, if you're like, oh, that doesn't look right, just fix it. But I love doing this because it's worth it. What'd you guys have for supper tonight? I wanna see some good food coming through. I did not have supper. I just had lunch because I way over ate. We had burgers and I had a hamburger, but there were brats available. All kinds of good summer food, pasta dishes. And um, Stephanie's future husband or future mother-in-law, I should say, made this like it wasn't a pasta salad, but it was like a pasta salad, but it was made with popcorn. You guys ever heard of that? 
I have never heard of it and it was delightful. So I gotta get that recipe. Okay, now see, I kind of chopped that off and I don't like that. So I am going to smooth that out just a little bit so it doesn't look so choppy. There we go, that looks much better. Okay, so look at my happy, isn't that cool? All right, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to take um, black. Oh, here, let me get this in here. I use my Stitch So Sweetly dies. Ooh, baked potatoes and cheese and chocolate frosty. Oh, Dolly, that sounds wonderful. Enchiladas, popcorn. Leanne had popcorn. Cheryl went to chilies. I'm jealous. I like chilies a lot. Here we go. So I used this dye from the Stitch So Sweetly, and I put it on black. So then this is what we get. Hang on. Lots of great dyes in here. If you don't have this set of dyes yet, consider adding this to your list too because it's it, I've used it a lot. You guys have seen me use it a lot, right? Okay, then we're going to take some Versamark ink. And I've got the saying or the sentiment here that says sending lots of. So we've got sending lots of, you make me, birthday, for you, male, and happy. Lots of different great sentiments there. So we're going to go with our sending you lots or sending lots of. I'm going to stamp that kind of over that way. And we're going to close this up. Don't forget to do that. Hamburger and pasta salad. Grilled chicken with chow mein noodles. Mm, that sounds delightful. Tacos. Steve was supposed to make tacos for me. He didn't do that yet. Get this. This is funny. So Molly's here. She's staying overnight. This is white embossing powder, by the way. And yeah. um, she told Steve that she would like pancakes in the morning for breakfast. And so Steve tells me, Molly wants pancakes for breakfast. And I said, well, then you're going to have to go get some buttermilk because I make homemade buttermilk pancakes. And he goes, that's exactly what Molly told me. I was going to have to go get some buttermilk so she could have pancakes. <laughs> that was so cute that she knows that. So, yay. And he didn't. So I don't know. We'll probably have homemade waffles instead. <laughs> but we're going to hit this with a heat tool. And we're gonna come in and have this, okay? Now, this is where I'm going to find that happy and I'm going to put this on that layer. Let me bring out my little basket of goodies here. I've got my mini dimensionals and then I've got big, hang on, we've got, this is my little basket of goodness. Got little dimensionals, big dimensionals, all the dimensionals everywhere. We'll just get them all out. I don't need that one. Okay, I have my calculator. Put that away. I finally bought a calculator because I was tired of using my phone. It, it's nice that your phone has a calculator, but it's just not as nice as having a real one. Because your phone shuts off all the time, and that was annoying to me. My little calculator stays on for a long time. Oh, my goodness. So I finally found a stroller, you guys. I went on Facebook Marketplace, great place to get things. And I found a very nice stroller for $20 on Facebook Marketplace right here in my hometown. Did I tell you guys this story last weekend? How I went to this lady's house and there was some kid on the corner mowing his lawn. It was 81 degrees and he was wearing a winter coat and a winter hat zipped up and it just was the craziest looking thing and then there was some guy out in the street a couple houses down just ranting and raving like a lunatic and I thought holy cow where am I it was crazy but yeah the police came <laughs> and um I don't know how that went down because I left, right? It's none of my business, but yeah. I felt bad for the people who that person belonged to that was out in the street ranting and raving because he was clearly on drugs or something. I think she said he was probably a drug addict, but whatever. It was sad. I always feel bad for people like that. It usually happens to the nicest people too, right? 
Okay, so I just got some little snippets of dimensionals on the um, the tails of my happy. Where is my take your pick tool? Do you guys see it? See it here? It's here somewhere because I've used it recently. Here it is. Yay. Okay, you get your demo discount on top of 50% off. I don't know what that, oh, let me look at that conversation. I order something that is 50% off. Yes. So Lori, what's going to happen is you'll get the price at 50% off. If you're a discount shopper, okay, you will get the price at 50% off just like everybody else. And then you get your um, demonstrator or discount shopper discount also. So yeah, Stampin' Up! is one of the few companies that doesn't take that away from their consultants. So that's pretty cool. Okay, watch this. Now, with this, you got to make sure that you get your words right side up because it doesn't look a lot different this way than it does this way, but this is the right way. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right on here. Is it that stinking adorable? Yeah, so I thought this would be really cool. And I want to add a few rhinestones because like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm just gonna put some rhinestones in here and bling it up just a touch. That looks cool, three rhinestones. You could put rhinestones in here. You could do whatever you want here. Now I'm gonna take that where did our um, front panel go? What did I do with it? Oh, Kelly. Hang on, it's here somewhere, right? You know, that piece that, oh, here it is. The piece we just stamped for Pete's sakes. I'm gonna put this right in the middle. And that's why I left this empty here because I don't need anything in there. I'm gonna put this right in the middle. So this is gonna be the front of our box. And this is just so easy to make. You can decorate this any way you want. You can make it as fancy or as not fancy as you want, right? I just wanna make sure I get it on here straight and centered. That's what I'm going for here. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, now what are we gonna do with that? Let me show you. Let me put all this stuff back so I don't have an accident. All this back out of the way. Okay, I think we're good there. I'm gonna set my stamp set over there. I'm gonna get these out of here. Don't worry, we'll close those up later. Okay. All right. I had to get a drink. I'm getting a little dry. Okay. Here comes our Coastal Cabana piece. So for the box that's going to go with all of these cards, you're going to want to pick out whatever color you want. And this is going to be seven and three quarters by 10, okay? I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. And on the 10 inch side, that's the one that's gonna go against our um, backboard here. Hang on, I got a dimensional that's trying to hitchhike. Not like that at all. There we go. Okay, on our 10 inch side, we are going to score at four, or I'm sorry, three and three quarters. This in here, I wanna make sure you can see what I'm doing. Three and three quarters. four and three quarters, eight and a half, and nine and a half. And I will have all of these dimensions available to you. After I get done with my live here tonight, I will put them on my blog with still photos and a shopping list so you don't have to try and guess at what color inks were those and all that stuff. Okay, on the seven and three quarters inch side, we are going to score at one inch. Six and a quarter inches. Let me make sure I got that right. Yep, right there. And seven and a quarter. Okay. I'm going to put this right here 
later you can come back to this you can fast forward when I'm done with my live you can fast forward you can rewind you can pause but you can put this on your screen and you can actually blow it up when you do this on your screen like like you can do this and blow it up and I think you can see it better so um, here comes our little box now what we're gonna do here is we're going to take our snips and I'm gonna let me look at this for just a second make sure I'm going the right way here okay this is the um, the the little tab over here so we're gonna take our our snips and we are going to cut on this score line ouch I just poked myself and then I'm gonna cut a little angle off the tab don't angle this piece angle the tab and then we're gonna do the same thing here I'm gonna angle this tab and then cut it on the score line okay and then we're going to come over here and we're going to cut straight and then angle and then we are going to cut this tab off and i'm going to cut this at a little angle like that okay so i just took this out of here and again i will have a picture of this on my blog so you don't have to worry don't fret it's it's going to be not hard is that a word not hard it's going to be not hard okay i'm going to cut this one at an angle and then we're going to trim this whole little piece off right here just like that okay now we're going to take this off and we're going to cut this and this and this then this is the little tab that's going to close our box up here but we don't need it here we're going to cut that off and we're going to cut this whole piece right here coming off so let's get that cut off There we go okay and I think this looks good now oops this is kind of crooked hang on okay Whew. did you see that I had my detailed trio punch out here I got that out here because I want to round the corners on this little tab that's gonna fold in so I'm gonna use this this is a really neat little whoops little punch. It's got a corner rounder on it. Um, the this little design and then an oval circle punch. Hang on, I got something sticking to my finger here. So I'm gonna do that piece. I'm gonna push that out of the way and do round this corner. Okay, that looks really professional, right? I like that look a lot. All right. So now we're going to fold on all these score lines and I like to burnish with my bone folder. Here it is. Burnish all these edges so you get that good crisp fold. Is everybody still with me? You guys are awfully quiet. Luann says stuffed cabbage. All right, Luann. <laughs> everybody sounds like everybody had a pretty good dinner. I didn't, I, like I said, I didn't eat dinner yet because I ate so much at that party. I should be ashamed of myself. <laughs> oh, I went for my bike ride this morning too. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys this part. So the kids all came over yesterday and we were out in the pool. And then I laid out in the pool for a little while longer after everybody went home. And then I came in the house and decided I was going to take a nap. It was probably about 6.30. And I know that's weird to take a nap at 6.30, but I'll usually take a nap for a couple hours and then get up and be up till 3 in the morning or so. And, I, and that's how I operate. I like to do that. I laid down at 6.30 and I woke up at 2 in the morning and thought, nah, I might as well just stay down now. So I didn't get out of bed till 6.30. I had 12 hours of sleep. It was amazing. 
Okay, I'm gonna bring in a circle. Um, this is just a circle punch. Any circle punch will do. This is a one and a half inch circle punch. And in this part that we completely cut out right here, we're going to just do a little tiny snippet like that, okay? And you wanna center it. I don't think I did a very good job, but you wanna center it in between here. And now we are going to put our box together and it literally goes together just like this, you guys. It is so simple. So I'm gonna give you some tips on this. I am going to put some tear and tape. I highly recommend you use a very strong adhesive like tear and tape. I am not using liquid glue. It may hold together tonight, but when I get up in the morning, it is going to pop apart. And this is why I like to use something really strong like tear and tape. I'm gonna put that right on this tab Okay, so that's right on our little tab, just like that. And I am going to, pee. okay, so before we do that, you're gonna close your box just like this. Do you, when I first started doing paper crafting, I would hold this up and I would try to get that all lined up and then half the time it was crooked and you know you don't get a second chance with this stuff. You rip it apart and you do it again. And yeah, just leave it down here and go like this, okay? That's how you put boxes together. And it took me a long time to know that. I just want you to know that. So we're just gonna fold this. Boom, we have a box. Houston, we have a box. Okay, you can make this the front of your box or you can make this the front of your box. What I want to tell you is that if you make this with the little notch out of it, I don't think it looks that attractive. I don't want that little notch on the front of my box. So I'm gonna make the front of my box over here and I'm going to add this layer right now before my box is all put together. And then it gets a little trickier to glue these layers on, right? That took me a while to learn that too. I, maybe I'm a little slow. <laughs> Does anybody else have these aha moments where it's like, ah, oh, duh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Ingrid said, we all have the same crazy sleep pattern. Yeah, it is it is crazy. Look at how cute this is, you guys. So this is going to be the front and this is gonna be the back of my box. So when I do the bottom down here now, I want this to be the final close and it's going this way, okay? That is gonna give you a much nicer box than if you do it this way with that seam coming up. So just some of those little important things that I like to pay attention to. And again, I'm gonna grab a little bit of tear and tape to put, you could, use, you could use liquid glue right here on these tabs, but I don't want these to interfere with my cards on the inside. So I wanna make sure they're stuck to that bottom of that box. Does that make sense? You could use, like I said, you could use a little bit of glue. Oh, crud. Don't put them on this top part. <laughs> they need to go on the other end. Let me see if I can get it off. I did. <laughs> Don't put them here. You need them on the bottom. Did anybody see me doing that and go, Kelly, no. Ooh, I didn't push it down very hard, thank goodness. Look at that, I didn't even tear it. Okay, let's try again. It's gonna give me a hot flash for sure. Just kidding. Okay, here we go. So this is where I wanted to put the tear and tape, and I think this time I'm just gonna put a little glue right there, okay? And I'm gonna remember, I want this one to close first and this one to close second. So I've got a little bit of glue in there on those tabs, and then I'm gonna put tear and tape right here. And then I'm gonna take my Take Your Pick tool and go down inside the box and push those tabs down onto that bottom so that that glue sticks to them. Look at how cute this is, you guys. Ah, yep, Kimberly was like, yep, wrong side. Yep, Terry says, yep. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, I made two boxes. This one is polished pink and I put in that whole set of these cards that I made last week. 
and all the envelopes. So let's count these. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six cards, six envelopes, all fit in this little box. And what a fabulous little gift this is going to be, right? And I can't hardly wait to give this. Got that little notch out here. And if you have a little stamp that has, you know, like, hang on, let me get this in here. If you have a stamp that has your name on it, you can put that on the back of this box before you assemble it. You know what? This is not letting me push it in. So just hang on a second. What's happening here? I'm gonna trim that just a little bit. So you gotta, sometimes you gotta give it a haircut. Just give it a little trim. I must've scored kind of wonky. Look at that, look how cute it is. Is that not adorable? I love this. Love, love, love. And if you wanted to, you know, you could make a little box for these too. I didn't, but I'm sure it's not too hard to find a three by three box um, dimensions to make. But how cute are these, right? Okay, so I will give you <clears throat> pictures, <clears throat> the dimensions. I will take a picture of this because this is the first one that I made. Um, I'll take a picture of that. I'll put that on my blog. This is the polished pink. This is the um, um, Coastal Cabana. And then because I was having so much fun with this stamp set, you guys, I had to make a card because I, I couldn't stop designing with it. And when that happens for me, those are, the, those are the stamp sets that I really tell you, you will never be disappointed that you get these because they're so much fun. So hang tight <clears throat> and let me share another project with you made with this stamp set. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. And oh, I'm like, where'd the card go? All right, I have to get out my chamois because we're gonna have to clean <clears throat> in between. And here comes this. So I've got <clears throat> Coastal Cabana four and a quarter by 11, and I've already scored it at five and a half. Oh, um, Kimberly's asking, what size are your cards? I'm glad you're asking, hang tight. <clears throat> Kimberly, these cards are all our note cards and envelopes. So you get 20 note cards and 20 little envelopes in a pack. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're all scored for you. 20 of these. And hang on. This folded, it ends up being three and a half by five. So that's what you're looking at. But yeah, these are nice to have when you need something quick to make. Um, I like to pull these out. And especially with the one sheet wonder, it's perfect to make the note cards and envelopes. But you know, if you don't have any, you can certainly make your own, except you probably won't have that size envelope, which is what's really nice about getting these. But just add them to your next order, and then you'll always have them on hand when you need them. So basic white note cards and envelopes. That's what you would do a search for. So yeah. What does Beth say? I hope to make some cards and boxes this week. I have a new grandson due Friday. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. Yay, you. Okay, I'm glad you asked that. Thank you so much. Let me make sure my messages are coming up. All right, so Coastal Cabana. Four and a quarter by 11. I've scored at five and a half, so we're just going to burnish that edge good. And then I've got two pieces of basic white. We've got four by five and a quarter on both of these. So one is gonna be my front, one is going to be my inside. 
I am going to take this wishing you the happiest of birthdays. I love, love, love big sentiments. And this is from the happiest of birthday stamp set. Some great birthday sentiments. I am going to ink that up in some stays on ink. And I'm using stays on because this is a fairly big stamp. And I want to get a really good crisp black. And I just feel like I can get that with the stays on better than I can with Memento. And isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's just really bold and black and beautiful. Okay, then I am going to come in with my Highland Heather and my little purple. Now these are the same stamps that I used for the box and the note cards and envelopes. I'm gonna do a little purple there and a little purple here and we're gonna call it a day. That's going to be our decoration. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this on the inside of my card and get that done right away. Isn't that pretty? Look at those colors. They're just like, oh, delicious, right? Oh, love it. Okay, then <clears throat> for the front of my card, this is my layer for the front. And what I'm gonna do with that, I'm gonna take my Happy, which is right here, and we're gonna clean that off. This, by the way, is a chamois, S-H-A-M-M-Y. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me get a drink. This is what I use to clean my stamps, and I love this thing, like it's the best thing ever. Okay, this is Coastal Cabana. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink that up and I'm going to stamp my happy right here in the middle of my layer. Clean it. Then we're going to grab our Highland Heather. And we're going to do this again. I'm going to get a little louder because I'm going to stamp up so I can, or stand up so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to grab <clears throat> my Flirty Flamingo. And I'm gonna grab that polished pink. And last but not least, Daffodil Delight. Now with all these colors, who isn't gonna be happy, right? How pretty is that? Super simple. Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to take our Highland Heather and we are going to stamp that big flower. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. Okay, got that one. Oh, you know what? I wanted to do that in Coastal Cabana. So hang tight. We're going to just make another one. I just flipped it over. There we go. Okay. Then we are going to take the dies, the coordinating dies that go with the pretty perennials. And here it is. Way down here. Let's get this out. This goes with this flower okay and then I've got another scrap of white here and I'm going to take and I'm going to die cut this particular flower and then you guys saw that I had a piece of granny up of green and I'm going to do this particular leaf on granny apple green okay hang tight we're gonna die cut those elements And just like magic, I have them done here. Look at how pretty they are, right? Okay, we're going to add this layer. There we go. Right over top of our stamped flower. And oh my gosh, I just think this is the coolest look. I love these layering dies. Isn't that neat? Yeah. 
And then I'm taking this and I'm gonna trim it a little bit because I didn't like the way this stuck out behind all of this. You know, it's like, ah, oh, how's that gonna work? It's great for other things, but not this particular card that I wanted to make. So I am going to trim these off and make them go where I need them to go, which is kind of right about like that. That's what I want. So you make it your own, do what you need to do, put a little piece of tape on it or whatever you want. There we go. And now I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back. And we are going to make the happiest little birthday card ever because this is just the, I just love this. Here comes our card front. take this and we're going to put it right over here <gasps> yeah. and then we're going to bring this in and last but not least of course I need a little diamond right that right on there. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? I love this. And I made one in Highland Heather. So we've got a Highland Heather flower. Same color scheme here. Thank you guys so much. I just thought this was so pretty and you saw how simple it was, right? It's just so easy. So I'm telling you, I could have gone on and on and on with this bundle because it's just really, really easy to create with. And I love it when I can I feel like I've got so much creativity with a bundle. Super fun. So pretty perennials. These are the perennial petals dies. They include 23 different dies. Okay. And here's our cute little boxes that we made for those note cards and envelopes. So lots, lots of fun here with the one sheet wonder. Make sure you're decorating up your envelopes. I didn't do that with this particular card, but I will make some matching envelopes. But isn't like so much fun, just so much fun. So very pretty, yeah. I love these. Okay, you guys, this is it for me tonight. As always, please make sure you share my video. That really helps me out. You can click on that share button right now. If you'd like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps these free videos coming your way. This is my current host code. You can find that on my blog at the bottom of every blog post or in the right hand column all the time is going to be the current one. So if you're watching this um, video later on YouTube or from my blog, this code may be different, but you'll always find it right on my blog. <clears throat> now, I have some mail to share with you. If you guys are interested, what time is it? Oh, it's only five after eight. Okay, so I've gotten, of course, all my mail is fabulous, right? Let me get these ink pads closed up before I go any further. Oh, thank you. Linda says, I love this project tonight. Going to case this for sure. She hadn't gotten this bundle yet, but as soon as my video is over, you're going to go order it, aren't you? Yeah. I'm telling you, you will never be disappointed that you have this particular bundle. It's just so pretty, so pretty. Okay, let's bring out the mail. Get everything cleaned off. You like how I clean off my desk? Yeah. <laughs> Got a ton of mail to open. I'm probably not going to get through all of it tonight, but I would like to share quite a bit with you. <laughs> yeah. Lots of mail. Okay, so I have to give this to Molly. Okay, so this came to me 
Look at how cute this is. <laughs> it's a unicorn um, hand sanitizer. Is that not the cutest little thing? I may have shown this to you already. It seems to me like I might have. But this is from Suzanne Cullen, and I'll show you her adorable little card. Isn't that cute? Oh, you have a really nice handwriting, too. So, since Val isn't old enough for stickers, she told me to give these to Molly. And can I just tell you that Molly is obsessed with unicorns. When we came back from Maui, I brought her a unicorn t-shirt that says Maui on it. And oh my gosh, she just loves it. So she is going to be so excited, Susie. Susie, thank you so much for those stickers. That is the sweetest. Molly is going to love them. We might do a movie night tonight, too. I might not get this stuff up until tomorrow morning, so me and Molly might go watch a movie. Then I got this in the mail. This is a brand new stamp set in our annual catalog called Days to Remember. Look at this pretty card, right? This comes to me from Valerie Albanese, and Valerie said that she ordered two of these, and she just wanted to send one to me, and I can, I can give it away. So... I think we'll give this away next week. This is a fabulous stamp set. You can personalize people's birthdays, right? Very cool. Thank you so much, Valerie. You are the sweetest. Then let's see. Oh, Dee Dee Tibke. She is on my team and she is a phenomenal stamper. This is a bundle that she won um, for, she qualified to be in a drawing at a team meeting. And um, this is a stamp set, a die set, and an embossing folder that is in our annual catalog. It's a brand new, and it says, thank you so much. It's called Art in Bloom Bundle. She was excited to um, have her name drawn, and then she got to pick what she wanted, and this is what she picked. So this embosses and die cuts at the same time. Look at how pretty. I love what she did with the words in here. This is just gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, let me get the glare out of there. So, so pretty. So that was from Dee Dee. Dee Dee, thank you so much for sending that. Hang on a second. I got to put her note back with that. Okay, so there was a box. Let me get rid of this. Ooh. Oh, these were the cards that I made using the um, layering stencils. You guys saw these? It was a blog hop that I did a um, week or so ago. Isn't that cool? We have all these new stencils. I used the dye to make my own stencil and then used our decorative masks to do the background with the blending brushes. These were just so pretty. And I like that, a happy hello to you, because I can use these for anything. And I do need a lot of anything cards right now. So, and I did the envelope flaps. And, 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 right? I just keep going on and on and on. It's like, oh my gosh, Kelly, just stop. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay, next up, we have, oh, this was a swap card. That shouldn't be in there. I will share all my swap cards with you, but not tonight. Oh, look at how cute this is right? This is from Kathy Schmidt. Simplify your life. And what a simple little card, but I really do love this. And she got some happy mail from the team meeting. So she was sending me a thank you. Isn't that cute? I love this. Okay, next up. Ooh, this one was pretty. This is from Debbie Foster. She is also on my team. Look at how pretty that inside is. And she is thanking me for the embellishments that she got from our team meeting. Now, if any of you guys are interested in becoming a discount shopper, I'd love to have you on my team. We have so much fun. We have a team meeting coming this Tuesday. And um, like I said, we're doing mystery, mystery stamping. We do all kinds of stuff, and I give away a lot of stuff. And um, we just have a lot of fun. There's a whole other world out there when you become a discount shopper that you may not be aware of. But... Lots of fun. Judy wants to know, what do I do with all the cards I make? I Most of the time, Judy, I use them for thank you cards when people place orders with me. So um, I do have to come up with a tremendous amount of cards each month for the orders that I'm receiving. So don't worry. They're getting good homes. Okay, look at this. Look at how cute that is. Look at this little cookie. I almost couldn't wait to eat this. So you almost didn't even see this cookie. Look at how pretty this card is. 
Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, gorgeous. Woo! And this is from Lori Mueller. And she says, my apologies for, oh, being extremely late. Don't ever apologize for that. Oh, we were in a swap for this butterfly. And she said something came up in her life that she just couldn't um, get the swap out. But she's sending it now. And it's beautiful. And she sent a cookie as a sorry. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, beautiful. Okay, here comes another one. I love, love, love this heart die. And this is from Pam Phillips. Look how cute that is. She says, um, da, 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 da. oh, she was sending in her technique rewards form. So she filled up her technique club and she was sent me a card to fill in her rewards. And then look at this. This came from one of my customers, Barbara Beck. She was having a little trouble with the Stamp Happy Academy website. And so I called her and walked her through it and got her all straightened out. And she realized that she was just um, clicking on something that she shouldn't have been clicking on. And that's why it was going someplace she didn't need it to go. So we got that all fixed. She sent me a quick trip gift card for the time that I took to help her out. And Barbara, you are the sweetest. Thank you so much, but you did not need to do that. But my mother has taught me that when somebody gives you a gift, you thank them and accept it graciously. And I thank you and accept this graciously. So thank you so much. And that brings me to another thing, you guys. Stamp Happy Academy. Oh, my gosh. We are having so much fun on that website. It is gaining popularity like crazy. Um, you can find it under stamphappyacademy.ning.com. And it is a membership website. There's a whole bunch of fun that happens in there. All kinds of benefits when you join. It's a monthly subscription. Go check it out. You will love it. It's just so much fun. Have a peachy day. Isn't this cute? Um, Lori says, I am loving the Technique Club. There you go. She goes, thank you for the inspiration to do something new. Lori, you are so welcome. Love your peach card. This is a very fun um, bundle. Oh, and then I received a card from the Shannon West. Shannon is the um, demonstrator manager for my area from Stampin' Up. And look at how pretty that is. That's a pretty card. Oh, she says, hello, my superstar. Congratulations on reaching 1.1 million in sales. That didn't take you long. You are unbelievable, and I am so thankful for you. Keep it up, my friend. Can't wait to see what you do next. What a sweetheart, right? Yeah, thank you, Shannon. You are the bomb. I love my DDM. She's wonderful. Look at how pretty this is. This is like washi tape, you guys. Little strips of washi tape. This is gorgeous. This is from Anna Ribadu. She is also on my team, and she got some... Um, the Frenzy Stamps and Gems. So she was one of our drawing winners also. Love your card, Anna. So pretty. Then we have Marsha Perkins. Look at how cute that is. Oh, she used a punch similar to our Detailed Trio punch. That's what this does, kind of. Very similar. Very cute. Love your thanks with your little bee. Thank you for the essential tag punch. She said, I love it and didn't have one in my collection. I am so happy to hear that, Marcia. I'm glad you like it. What else do I have here? Backstage. You're invited. Stampin' Up! sent me a backstage. We have an event coming up in August that is going to be virtual, but it is an online event for all Stampin' Up! demonstrators I think you have to have a title of Silver Elite and above to attend this. These are so fun. I love them. All right, what else do we have here? Um, all these cards. Yeah, this was a blog hop that I did recently using that artistic designer series paper. Isn't that so pretty with that gold veining running through it? Oh, my goodness. And the, um, <clears throat> what is that called? Ephemera pack. That gold, yeah, beautiful. Those were mine. I made those. I don't know why they're in that drawer. Oh, here we have Heal Your Heart. And let's see who this came from. This came from... Da -da -da. Ooh, look how pretty that is. This came from Sharon. Sharon, 
Sharon, Sharon. I lost your note, Sharon. Gosh, I know there was a note with this. I'm so sorry. I remember reading it. So maybe it's on here. Oh, here it is. She goes, she's sending me a stamp set. She had a duplicate. So Sharon Kersey, thank you so much. What a beautiful card. And we'll also be giving away this stamp set. Where did that other stamp set go that I'm going to give away? Huh. huh. Yeah, Kelly. Did you guys see what I did with it? No? <laughs> me neither. But it's here. So, Oh, here it is right here. Okay, so now we have two stamp sets. I'll set those over here too. Okay, so another beautiful card. Um, this is done. This is done. I do have a gift that I wanted to share with you. Oh, I think it might be in my bag here. Hang on. Yep, it is. My friend Lynn from Australia. We met online and we have been emailing back and forth and I just adore her. She is so funny. But she sent me a pair of koala socks because remember back when I said that I kept calling koalas koala bears and then somebody from Australia yelled at me and said they they wished that I would stop calling them bears because they're not bears, they're marsupials. And I'm like, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> We're Americans, we don't have koala bears. Oh, sorry, koalas. So anyways, it was pretty funny. I got a good laugh out of it. So she sent me um, the koala, yeah, the koala socks. And what else did she say? Oh, here, I'll tell you what she said. She goes, now, about the socks. I know I said I would let the koala thing go, but seriously, these socks literally called out to me at the store and begged me to buy them and send them to you. It was totally out of my control. I tried to fight the urge, but I am weak. What more can I say? That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> and this is the beautiful card. Now, my birthday is in July, but it takes a long time to get stuff from Australia. So she sent me this birthday card with these fun socks. And look at how that tucks right in there. Hope your day is filled with little moments that make you feel remembered, celebrated, and loved for you, for who you are, and that, dear Kelly, is someone very special, and she is just so sweet. But look at this. Um, hang on. Hang on. Um, oh, here we go. I'm like, this does something. I know it. Look at how this stands up like that. It stands up like that and it tucks right in here is that not just the cutest thing ever Lynn I love this card and we are going to make it yeah right I need we need to make this don't you guys agree yeah exactly so thank you so much for the socks I love them and I will wear the koalas with love <laughs> Okay, you guys, I will keep the rest of my mail and share it with you next week. I will be back live on June 13th and 7 p.m. Central Time. What do I have coming up? Um, this week, I think on Thursday, I have, yes, a blog hop. So you have to watch for that. Um, it's going to be man cards. I, that's what I was filling in my skeleton calendar. Man cards on Thursday. I have a team meeting Tuesday night. So for those of you on my team, remember we have a team meeting Tuesday night. I have people volunteering to do demonstrations. This is all done virtually on Zoom and Facebook Live. So that's fun. Make sure you tune in. The meeting is from 6 to 8 on Tuesday for those of you on my team. If you want to join my team, pop me an email. Kelly at a stamp above.com and I will be happy to send you the link where you'll get all the goody details. You can join my team for $99. It's so much fun. All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful week of June. I can't believe it's June already. Isn't that crazy? And I have to go see Miss Molly now and maybe we're going to make some popcorn and watch a movie. So have a great rest of the night and a wonderful week. I will see you back here soon. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Bye-bye.